Hello there scientific brilliant people. How are you today? So today I'm going to brief you up about the redox reactions and I'll be explaining this topic to you very simply. So this is an explanation basically for grade 8 and 10 students and for the 11th and 12th standard students this topic gets quite difficult so I will restrict this uh, session till 10th standard. Okay. <clears throat> so redox basically means reduction so this is reduction and ox means oxidation so in redox reactions you have to understand two things what is reduction what is oxidation so in oxidation there are three terms either there can be loss of electrons or loss of hydrogen or gain of oxygen if out of these three criterions if any one of the criterions is also satisfied then that particular substance or compound undergoes oxidation here in reduction just opposite to this gain of electrons gain of hydrogen loss of oxygen now this concept can be very well understood with the help of a number line in number line we have zero at the center then positive numbers at the top and negative numbers at the bottom so if you climb up no matter from minus 2 to 0 or from 0 to 2 it is said to be oxidation and if you climb down from 2 to 0 or from 0 to minus 2 the substance is said to be undergoing reduction so now let's apply these concepts uh, on the chemical reaction and try to understand the uh, this particular concept so the first example is very easy that is H2 plus O2 gives H2O. This is the formation of water. So when hydrogen and, and the oxygen are given a spark they to both react and finally producing the oxygen sorry water. Now here if you look carefully hydrogen gains oxygen to form water. See here hydrogen was not having oxygen but in the product hydrogen is having oxygen so we can connect one reactant with the product and we can say that hydrogen has now gained oxygen. Gain of oxygen falls in this category so that means this is oxidation. Here oxygen was only oxygen but oxygen turned into water that means it gained hydrogen and gain of hydrogen falls into this category that is reduction. So here you can say that hydrogen undergoes oxidation and oxygen undergoes reduction right. Now those substances which undergo oxidation are called reducing agent. So hydrogen undergoes but hydrogen is also reducing agent and why it is so see because oxygen undergoes reduction and oxygen undergoes reduction due to the presence of hydrogen so hydrogen is basically an agent which causes the reduction of oxygen so that's why hydrogen is a reducing agent correct in the same way oxygen undergoes reduction and oxygen is oxidizing agent. Now this reaction was understood on the basis of loss and gain of hydrogen. Now let us take an another example in which we can apply this first concept that is the gain and loss of electrons that is Fe plus Cl2 gives FeCl3 right. So this is iron, this is chlorine, chlorine molecule and this is iron 3 chloride. Now the easiest trick is to find out single elements like this is a single element, this is a single element, this is not a single element, this is a compound. So if you find any single element just put zero on it and why it is so because single elements are made up of atoms or molecules. Now 
here there are two atoms of chlorine here there is one atom of iron now single atom of iron has got equal number of protons and electrons that's why the total charge is zero because there are equal number of protons and electrons here also there are two atoms of chlorine but both of them they have equal number of atoms sorry uh, electrons and protons so the total charge is zero but here in iron 3 chloride the valency of chlorine is minus 1 and the valency of iron is plus 3 because then and only then if you cross it like this fe plus 3 and cl minus 1 if you cross then and only then you are going to get fecl3 so now what we are supposed to do is we have to connect any one reactant with one of the products so here this reactant i am going to connect it with the product so you can see that iron was having Zero and now iron is having plus three over here. That means zero to plus three, you are going up the number line. From reactant side to product side, if the charge increases, that means you are going up the number line. So it is undergoing oxidation. So iron undergoes oxidation. That's why it is a reducing agent. Correct. Now here chlorine was having zero charge. Here chlorine is having minus one charge. So that means chlorine. If I connect this chlorine, because all the reactants must be connected to the products. So this chlorine is connected over here, and from zero to minus one, that means we are going down the number line. So Cl undergoes reduction. Now it is an oxidizing agent. if you look carefully iron from zero it becomes plus 3 so let us write down iron like this now it becomes fe plus 3 just imagine an atom because it is having zero charge becoming positive ion that means it loses electrons how many electrons it has lost three electrons so iron basically loses three electrons and forms fe plus 3 in the same way even though there are two just write down an equation for one cl 0 it becomes cl minus 1 and how is this possible if it gains electron if this atom gains electron then and only then it can become negatively charged so how many electrons does it gain answer is one electron so chlorine gains one electron to form cl minus 1 when i say loses you have to put minus sign when i say gains electron you have to add the electrons so after losing 3 it becomes fe plus 3 and if after gaining 1 it becomes cl minus 1 let's take the third example like this so fecl2 plus cl2 gives fecl3 i am not balance balancing the reaction right now so here as i said that the first trick is find out the single element so this is a compound this is a compound but this is a single element so just put the zero sign on it we know that the valency of fe and fecl3 is plus 3 cl is minus 1 here in fecl2 ion valency is plus 2 and cl is minus 1 now as i said that you have to connect each reactant with the product now see carefully here cl is minus 1 cl is minus 1 so here there is no role of cl because the charge doesn't change but here fe was plus 2 now here fe is plus 3 that means from plus 2 to plus 3 we are going up the number line which is oxidation so that means we can say that fecl2 undergoes oxidation remember 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 it is not only fe undergoes oxidation it is whole compound fecl2 undergoes oxidation right now that's why it is a reducing agent now equation here iron was we don't need not to write down the equation for fecl2 just say fe was plus 2 here now fe 
is plus 3 here in the product side. So that means it has lost electrons because in oxidation we always say that there is loss of electrons. How many electrons? It was already having 2 electrons less. Now 3 electrons less that means you have removed one more electron and loses one more electron. So this is it. So Fe plus 2 if you still re remove one more electron it becomes Fe plus 3. Now this chlorine even though they are Two, just write down the equation for 1. So here you can say that from 0 to minus 1 we are going down the number line that is reduction. So chlorine Cl2 undergoes reduction. So it is an oxidizing agent. Correct? Now let us write down the equation for only chlorine single atom. Cl was 0 over here. Now Cl is minus 1 over here. So as discussed earlier, it will gain one more electron. Electrons are negatively charged. So this is how we write it down. Now let's move on for the third reaction. I'm sorry, the fourth reaction. That is CO plus H2 gives Cu plus H2O. Now here very smartly, you are supposed to connect the reactants with the products. First of all, as I said, single elements. This is single element. This is single element. Just write zero sign on it. Here, the valency of copper is plus two because oxide, copper oxide, in oxide ion we have minus two. Correct? And we may choose to write down oxygen as minus two and H as plus one. Over here, actually, water is a covalent compound, but still you can just, you know, uh, right over here as, as H plus 1 and O minus 2. Now, if you look carefully, I am supposed to connect the reactants with the products. So, you are supposed to connect those reactants with those products where there are changes in the charges. So, CuO with Cu because here copper's valency was plus 2 and now it is 0. That means you are coming down the number line from 2 to 0. So, that means it is reduction. You can verify in another way that there is a loss of oxygen from copper oxide to copper because loss of oxygen is again categorized under reduction, right? So here there is a loss of oxygen taking place and here if I connect, as you can see there is gain of oxygen, so it is oxidation. And in the other way you can say that from 0, hydrogen 0 to hydrogen plus 1 it is going up the number line. So in this way we can identify but let us write down the, I mean the equations of the oxidation and reduction. So hydrogen was 0, now hydrogen is plus 1 which means hydrogen has lost one electron because when something becomes positive it loses electrons. Now copper, yes, what undergoes reduction? Copper oxide undergoes reduction. It is not that only Cu plus 2 is undergoing the reduction, it is the whole compound that undergoes reduction. So Cu plus 2, now it becomes Cu0. That means it has gained two electrons because after gaining two electrons, the protons and electrons become equal and the total charge is zero. So this is for the reduction and this is for the oxidation. So now let's move on to the final equation for the redox reactions. That is CuS plus H2 gives Cu plus H2S. Now, over here, again as I said, that first of all, just find out the single elements and put zero on it. Now here the valency of sulfur is minus two, copper is plus two because the whole compound is neutral. Here the valency of sulfur is minus two, hydrogen is plus one because two into plus one is plus two, plus two into minus two is zero. That's why H2S is a neutral compound. Now. I said that we have to connect one reactant with one product in such a way that there are changes in the <coughs> charge over here. So as you can see, this copper from plus 2 just like the earlier reaction, it loses electrons, sorry it gains electrons to form Cu0 because from plus 2 to 0 you are going 
down the number line so this is reduction now if you just want to write down the equation cu plus 2 now it is cu0 over here and it is reduction so reduction is gain of electrons so it gains two electrons because after gaining two electrons the total charge becomes zero this is equation for reduction and what undergoes the reduction cus undergoes reduction that's why it is an oxidizing agent correct people now here h2 to again it becomes h plus 1 H0 to plus 1 that means it is oxidation going up the number line so H from 0 it loses one electron to form H plus 1 this is an equation for oxidation and hydrogen that's why behaves as a reducing agent so people hopefully you have understood the, the entire lecture and if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video